Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Patty and I are here to offer a warm welcome to the 25th anniversary of the Interfaith Center's James Parks Morton Awards. Bravo. I first met Jim when I was a new board member of the Big Apple Circus. He was chaplain to the Big Apple Circus. Each year when the circus was performing at Lincoln Center, there would be artists from all over the globe sharing different faiths, and he would perform weddings, christenings, um, whatever was needed, holiday services. And he loved that job. He told me that that was his favorite thing to do. I noted that he believed the arts are bridges across all ethnic and cultural boundaries, or an essential means of communicating from one human being to another. Witness the vibrant program that he created, the Artisan Residence Program at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. I like to think that his time at the cathedral, I'm sorry, at his, that his time in the ring, he was both places in my life, his time in the ring helped him to deepen his interfaith commitment. I was the first board chair, but there are many in this room with me were there at the beginning, and Lord knows we had some dicey times. So I'd like to particularly acknowledge those who are here for their perseverance and support through 25 years. Kusumita Peterson, the way. Walter Beebe, Ted Pardo, and Karina Courtright, and Barbara Slifka, who could not be with us tonight. I also want to thank Chloe Breyer, Executive Director, <laughs> for her continued inspired leadership, and Janelle Meyer, as Development Director, who paid all attention to the details to make this happen tonight. And finally, I want to especially thank the wizard behind the curtain, who has produced every one of these 25 events, Jonathan Cerullo. <laughs> I chaired the second awards dinner in the Hilton Hotel Ballroom when we honored Bill Clinton and Alan Slifka. Jonathan had ordered walkie-talkies for, for the staff, but they didn't work. <laughs> he nearly had a stroke, but he saw us through that night, and he'll see us through this wonderful evening. Jim had two favorite adjectives that I learned remarkable and extraordinary, and he was that. He has left us now, but we carry on his legacy to make New York and the world safe for religious diversity. His widow, Pamela, was not able to be with us this evening, but she sends her warmest wishes and gratitude to all of you for supporting his vision. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Over to Patty. Patty. 